Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got circle with the center of, along with this uh, code uh, AB, and moreover uh, this segment uh, BC and this uh, segment uh, CD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this code uh, AB is uh, 26 units, the segment uh, BC length is uh, 12 units. And finally, this segment uh, CD length uh, is uh, 36 units. And moreover, these uh, angles are our uh, 90 degrees uh, angles. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know our... Uh, code uh, a b length uh, is uh, 26 and here in this uh, next step i have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, e o on this code uh, a b and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the code then the radius uh, bisects the code so no wonder this perpendicular uh, e o is going to bisect uh, this code a b into two equal parts so therefore uh, this segment uh, a e is going to be half of 26 is going to be 13 and likewise uh, e b length is 13 units as well and furthermore let's make an observation we can see that this uh, perpendicular uh, e o is going to intersect uh, this uh, segment uh, cd at this point uh, f and this angle is uh, 90 degrees uh, as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this segment uh, ef uh, is going to be equal to this segment uh, bc if this is 12 then uh, ef segment is going to be 12 as well and furthermore i'm going to label this uh, tiny segment uh, fo as uh, x units and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x and now let's make an observation we can see this whole uh, perpendicular eo length uh, is going to be x uh, plus 12 so this is going to be x uh, plus uh, 12 and now in this uh, next step i am going to connect uh, this center o with this uh, vertex a as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, a o is the radius uh, of this circle i'm going to label this radius as lowercase r and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a e o and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase r whereas our two other legs are uh, x plus 12 and 13 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula so we got uh, x uh, plus 12 uh, whole square plus uh, 13 square equals to our radius lowercase r square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial so therefore this could be written as uh, x square plus uh, 24 x uh, plus uh, 144 and then plus uh, 13 square is going to give us uh, 169 and that's going to be equal to r square and now we are going to combine these two constants so therefore we can write uh, r square is going to be equal to x square plus uh, 24 x uh, plus uh, 313 i'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one and now in this uh, next step i am going to connect uh, this center o with this vertex uh, d as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, o d is the radius of the circle i'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r as well and furthermore we know this uh, segment uh, fc equal to the segment uh, 
EB, if this is 13, then this FC segment is going to be 13 units as well. And moreover, we know that this whole uh, segment uh, CD is 36. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, DF length is going to be 36 uh, minus 13 is going to give us uh, 23 units. And now we are going to focus on this other right triangle DFO. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is lowercase r, whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and uh, 23. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We are going to get uh, x square plus uh, 23 square equal to lowercase r square. Let's simplify. We can write uh, lowercase r square equal to x square plus 23 square is 529. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation one and equation two. And now we are going to compare uh, these two equations. And we can see the left hand sides are uh, identical. So therefore we are going to equate uh, the right hand sides as well. So therefore I can write uh, x square plus 24x plus 313 is going to be equal to x square plus 529. And here we can cancel out x square and x square. So therefore we are ended up with the 24x plus 313 equals to 529. And now we are going to subtract 313 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore 24x turns out to be equal to 216 on the right hand side. And now we are going to divide 24 both sides. So to isolate x, this 24 and 24 is gone. So therefore, our x value simply turns out to be equal to 9. So thus our x value turns out to be 9. And now I'm going to substitute that uh, x equal to 9 value in this equation over here. So this become 9 square. So therefore, r square is going to be equal to 9 square plus 529. Let's simplify r square equals to 81 plus 529. r square is going to be simply 610. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore, the radius of this circle simply turns out to be positive square root of 610 units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the radius of this uh, circle simply turns out to be square root of uh, 610 units and that's going to be approximately equal to 24.7 units as well. So therefore uh, the radius uh, of this uh, circle simply turns out to be the square root of 610 uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye